Hey guys, I'm here, let's get technical. When I'm not obsessively binge watching Casually Explained, I've been reading more and more articles arguing that Snapchat and its parent company Snap Inc. will die or fail or not make it through the year. As an avid Snapchat user, I raise an eyebrow to articles like these, and while I put forward legitimate and really interesting arguments, I would like to provide some counter arguments to many of the popular claims that Snapchat will indeed fail. Proving it will be a snap. Okay, I got that out of my system, so uh, let's begin. Also, quickly note that most of the time when I say Instagram in this episode, I mean Instagram stories, but it should make sense from context. The first and most common argument I hear is that Facebook is out to get it, and the logic behind this argument is that there are things pushing people away from Snapchat and towards Instagram. Let's take a look at what some of these things are. One, user history. People claim that since pictures and videos disappear, there's nothing holding people to Snapchat. However, this is not true. Streaks in your Snapchat score, two things Instagram doesn't have, are some of the things holding users to Snapchat, and even if you don't care about those, your audience would hold you to Snapchat. My Snapchat audience and my Instagram audience are comprised of pretty different people. Not to mention I reach many more people on Snapchat. Two, bad tech. This argument goes that Instagram's working software beats Snapchat's confusing and outright non-functional software, and I feel ya. I've roughly estimated that Snapchat crashes a couple of times a month and doesn't even sync up my audio and video properly a couple of times a week, which looks like this. Roll the clip. Puns. Yeah, so funny, just roll the clip. Oh, what? Watch Game of Thrones tonight. It's annoying, and it needs to be fixed. However, even with all of its technical shortcomings, I still think Snapchat has better tech than Instagram. Of course, there are bells and whistles on Snapchat, like adding links to snaps and Bitmoji integration and stuff like that, but what Snapchat really nails is geofilters, something Instagram doesn't have. Geofilters are such a crucial part of the Snapchat culture, they were executed really well, they all look beautiful, and they're a great revenue opportunity, whether that be from brands or people hosting their event and want to pay six bucks for a geofilter for the evening. And hey, face filters used to be part of my argument, but now Instagram has this. This totally isn't Snapchat, what? I understand that the concept of stories can't be patented, but come on, how is that allowed? Three, user base. Oh, but Alex, despite your little pointy points, the user base is leaving Snapchat for IG. What do you have to say to that? Why am I holding a wine glass full of milk? To that I say, really? Is that really what's happening? Let's take a look at some demographics in a segment I like to call the Statistics Corner. Except I'm not moving from my wall, so... The statistics wall! Except this is the usual wall, so... WALL! Welcome to WALL! Right off the bat, Instagram is better for brand accounts. For brands, Instagram is the perfect one-two punch they need. They have a permanent lookbook on their main account, and they can also do any temporary stuff they want on Instagram stories. Not to mention, according to Instagram themselves, 60% of users say they discover new products on Instagram. Compare that to only 7% of users saying that the best part of Snapchat is the brands. Yes, both groups of people weren't asked the exact same question, but the results are indicative of the larger point. While Instagram may be better for brand accounts, arguing just that point and then claiming that Instagram has a better user base isn't looking at the full picture. Get it? Get it? Because I, I honestly didn't get that until now. I wrote that completely genuinely and I just I just, I mean, that was, that, man, that was a great pun. Anywho, let's look at the full picture. Snapchat is not only better for advertising, but also has a solid number of daily active users and captures eyeballs longer. Let's break that down. First, Snapchat is better for advertising. Their click-through rate, or percent of people who don't just see an ad, but also click on it or swipe up to learn more, is five times more than on other, quote, comparable platforms. Also, Snapchat ads receive 1.5 times the amount of visual attention as Instagram ads. Second, people seem to be looking at graphs like this, which show Snapchat's daily active users, or DAOs, and yell, oh no, Snapchat is dead, Instagram is bibbidi like a bibbidi. What is a bibbidi? <laughs> However, note that Snapchat's deus are still growing. I'm not concerned about this until they stop growing or drop. We also don't have enough data yet to show that this slowdown is permanent. I wanted to quickly note here that I acknowledge that Instagram Stories does have more deus. However, that still doesn't negate my previous point and my following point will outweigh IG's DAUs. Wow, I just used a lot of acronyms there. That was bamboozling. Third, people are spending twice as much time on Snapchat than on Instagram. The average Snapchat do spends 30 minutes a day on the app, while Instagram is only at 15. And that's with both Instagram stories and... Well, Instagram. Instagram may have Snapchat beat on DAOs, but Snapchat is killing it on usage time. And finally, some free advice to Snapchat on how to get that sweet, sweet eyeball time. Wait, no, that sounds really weird. Free advice for Snapchat on how to increase usage time. Send more push notifications. Have you, do viewer, ever gotten a notification like this from Instagram? Yeah, they're trying to get you on their app, and it kind of works. So Snapchat, send more push notifications for story uploads, and maybe even allow users to turn on post notifications for their favorite Snapchatters. 
Oh, y'all know I'm gonna plug my Snapchat at the end. Soik, I'm gonna plug it now at Alex Nickel. Follow me there. Okay, now that we've covered that, let's move on to the second main argument against Snapchat. Snapchat has made no money. This is the most legitimate argument against Snapchat's success, and it basically goes like this. Take a look at this chart of Snapchat's earnings versus their losses. Notice how quarter after quarter, Snapchat always loses more than they make. Oh my god, this is hard and fast evidence that Snapchat is dead, murdered, slaughtered, but wait, let's look at this a bit closer. Even though Snapchat burns money faster than me running to the TV on July 30th, there's something that many people overlook. In Q1 2015, Snapchat lost $95 million, and in Q4 2016, Snapchat only lost $4 million a $91 million decrease. Heck, they were actually profitable in Q3 2016, making $4 million. While Snapchat's history does show giant losses, Snapchat is a young company, and young companies are never automatically profitable. But yes, if Snapchat does want to stick around, they do have to adapt and continue the trend of closing the gap. And they're working on it. On top of Snapchat's many points of advertising, like sponsored face filters, sponsored geo filters, and the between story ads, they've also gone farther in the past year with the release of spectacles and the rollout of user paid geo filters. And hey, if anyone over at Snapchat is watching, I don't know if it's just me, but I'm cool paying a clean 10, 20 bucks to never see ads again. Maybe it's just me, but uh, Snapchat, get on it. Also, a free pair of spectacles would be nice. That concludes my second point, and seeing that I've negated the two arguments for Snapchat having no future, let's move on to the reason why the app will stick around. The ethos of Snapchat. With literally every other social media, you're not sharing your life, you're curating an online persona. This forces you to be significantly more selective in what you post, and restricts your organic storytelling and sharing of natural moments. Because Instagram posts go into your permanent lookbook, you are showing the world what you want them to see, but not who you are. Snapchat is different. With Snapchat, since photos and videos disappear, users have no obligation to create an online presence, and instead can focus more on sharing their life. And now, with the fall of Vine and Beam, Snapchat is on its own level with no competitors. And don't think that Instagram is a competitor. Even with Instagram stories, there is still the same level of formalness with the app. The vibe of Instagram doesn't just go away with stories. And if you think this is just one kid's opinion, we can look at how Instagram and Snapchat announce updates. Whenever Instagram sends out an update and makes an announcement, they post it to their story. The problem? What they post is very formal. It's perfectly crafted with just the right pen marks and text and stickers. This sets a crazy high standard for other Instagram story posters. Instagram makes it look like you could make this super high quality story, and if Instagram can make it using their story feature, you should too. Compare this to Snapchat. Anytime they want to say happy insert holiday here, they make an animation and send it to all users. In doing so, Snapchat doesn't touch the form on a standard at all, simply because a user can't make this animation in Snapchat. Rob Moore said it best in his Medium article. People use Snapchat because it has created a channel for low obligation communication. And for better or for worse, that description will never fit Instagram. I am curious to know what you guys think about this, so let me know in the comment section down below if you agree with me or disagree with me and why. Not to sound too much like the man, the myth, the legend, Philip DeFranco, but let's have a conversation. Also, let me know in the comments which platform you like better and why. I'm actually really interested to find out. And hey, if you want, follow me on your favorite platform. Or both. P please follow. Thanks for watching. DFTBA, and explore on.